You're listening to More Than Steps, the podcast where we geek out on how belly dance works, one coffee run at a time. I'm your hostess, Nadira Jamal. A few weeks ago, I shared an episode on why it's important to embrace your safety moves, the moves that occur to you easily when you improvise. But Tonya in Grand Junction, Colorado asked a really good question. How do you find the right set of safety moves? Well, most people find their safety moves through trial and error. They improvise and improvise, and they find themselves using the same moves over and over again. I also have a systematic process for this on my DVD, The Improvisation Toolkit, Volume 1, which uses some creativity exercises called noodling to help you get there. But once you find your safety moves, sometimes they don't really work when you put them into practice. And so if you find that the safety moves that you've identified, the ones that occur to you easily, just aren't helping you dance comfortably, then you may need to try out some other options. And to do that, it doesn't really matter where you start. You can literally pick some movements out of a hat and see how it goes. But if you'd prefer to do that in a more systematic way, start by asking yourself what you like. What movements do you enjoy? What feel comfortable on your body? Which movements can you do without thinking too hard about them? Then try them out and see how they fit. Put on some music, play around with just those movements, and see how it goes. And the two things that you want to look for in a good safety move are repeatability and versatility. A movement is repeatable if you can do it over and over again without wearing yourself out. So for example, your choo-choo shimmy is going to wipe you out immediately, so it's not a good candidate. Versatility means that you can create lots of variations using that movement. And just about any movement in your vocabulary is versatile, but depending on your tastes and your skill level, some are easier to vary than others. So that's what you want to watch out for. At a minimum, I suggest that you pick movements that you can travel and turn with, or that you can mix and match into traveling and turning combinations pretty easily. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself stuck on the spot. But there are also all kinds of other variations, like speed and timing patterns, using your space, adding arm poses, level changes, all kinds of other stuff. So play with those things and see how it goes. And it may take lots of tries to find the right fit. This is okay. If you think about this like being the new girl at school, you don't walk into the cafeteria and expect the first three people that you tap on the shoulder to become your best friends. That happens in the movies, but not in real life. But the good news is, is that as you try on more movements, whether it's a handful or even dozens, you're going to be practicing the same skills that will make your safety moves an integral part of your dance. So all this work that you do now to just sort through your vocabulary and find the right ones will make it easier for you to use the safety moves that you eventually choose in performance. And so that process of integrating your safety moves will go a whole lot faster. But as I said, like the new girl at school, you can't find your best friends until you meet a bunch of people. So don't wait, just get started. If you'd like some help with this, you can get that noodling creativity exercise that I mentioned for free. You can sign up in the show notes for this episode, and you'll find the full episode list at bellydancegeek.com steps. Thanks for listening. For more geektacular resources, visit bellydancegeek.com.